Donald Trump has sent sort of mixed messages in response. On the one hand, he called the protests on Twitter, of course, it went to Twitter, and called them unfair and professionally organized by us in the media. And then eight um, hours later. Yeah, and eight hours later, <laughs> right. he came out in reverse course. Um, and yet, when he was on 60 Minutes last night and asked specifically about those minorities who were being attacked and offended, he said, stop it. So what is to the cameras? What does this tell us about the kind of president he will be? You know, I think the, the, he's a giant question mark. You know, Jennifer was saying earlier, I don't even think he re reflects the Republican Party. He's not a Republican. I mean, let's just understand here that, that we, this nation has elected someone who is entirely unpredictable. He's unpredictable in his language. He changes course. He's opportunistic. He says what he needs to say at any given moment. You know, even in that 60 Minutes interview, he was saying, well, you know, maybe I use some terms to sort of help rile up the base. I think the challenge here is not necessarily that Donald Trump is is racist. I think the challenge is he has uh, opportunistically allowed this community of people uh, who are racist, who are frightening, who are misogynistic, to get really riled up and he hasn't dissuaded them. And Should that he be me, giving press conferences? Should he be speaking out more? I mean, this interview with yes. Leslie Stahl on 60 Minutes was taped last week. Uh, you know, if, if you were presidential, in theory, you would like to, to um, express a desire for calm in your nation. Yeah. <laughs> and since then, Jennifer, um, we, we've heard of some appointments in yep. his camp. Uh, we've heard Reince Priebus, uh, RNC's chairman, who's appointed to be his chief of staff. I think a lot of Washington insiders, you can agree with this, were relieved yep. to, to hear of that appointment. But there's been a lot of concern about another appointment. That's his top advisor, Steve Bannon, his senior counsel that he was picked for. He has close ties, of course, to the Albright branch uh, behind Breitbart media, and he, he's come out with incendiary marks, remarks throughout his career against Muslims, Jews, women, homosexual. Uh, how do you think the party as a whole is going to work with both of these men, given that one represents the establishment, the other does not? It's a bit schizophrenic. Um, I, on one hand, the, the establishment, in air quotes, Republicans were really pleased to see Reince selected because they feel like at least he has the relationships, um, at least he knows how to work with Congress, he understands how a bill becomes the law, Ryan. close to Speaker Ryan, so we'll keep some grown-ups in the House. Uh, but, but for those people who voted for Trump thinking it was going to be a complete drain the swamp moment, that said, just kidding, we're going to keep the establishment in place. So people like me are pleased with that. The Bannon pick, on the other hand, is terrifying. I mean, frankly, terrifying. And if his job is to communicate with those people outside who are the misogynists, who are the racists, who are painting swastikas on buildings, that's a real problem. 